Okay, so explain what you're doing here. So this is my, um, I'm not sure what I want to call it. It's my spinning machine is what <laughs> I call it to test my females um, to see if um, they are ready to be bred. Um, that way I won't be collecting my mail unnecessarily. And um, I just draw blood uh, from the girl and then I put it in a tube here and then I spin it and this makes the serum come on top. So then I've got a um, Target Canine uh, Ovulation Kit here. And I just follow the directions here. So the first thing I do after I have spun the blood here, I take some serum off the top here. And then I put four drops of the sample on the top here. One, two, three, four. And then I time it for two minutes. I'll get my timer going here. And then after I've timed it for two minutes, I will be putting a couple of drops of the red label sample wash on here. And what this does is um, it'll tell me how close my girl is. And usually I wait until about day nine, eight or nine after I see the first sign of a heat. And that is the female uh, bleeding. So then, um, we draw the blood at that time, we spin it and do our testing. And then on here, this is my little booklet that I follow. And then on the back here, you can see where it's, if it's bright blue, it's at the very beginning, you retest every two days. And then when it comes to a light blue, you retest every day. And a faint blue the same way. And then once it turns a white on this little thing, we'll be able to see here, um, this whole thing takes about, oh, usually 10 minutes to do the whole thing. Um, we'll be able to see where Amber is going in her heat cycle here. So in about a minute, we'll drop off here. And then we will be dropping two drops of this sample wash. One, two, and then two more. Wait till that disappears in there. And then this is a enzyme, which is the most important part of the process to make sure it is timed exactly one minute. Put the timer on there and it'll be going for exactly one minute. We will be mixing two parts here. While I wait for that minute, I'll be mixing an A and a B together. So my veterinarian, Teresa, was so kind to um, get this machine in for me and teach me how to do this. This is what they use at the vet clinic, so that makes it really nice. When I do my testing, we uh, she always does another test when I send my female in. Uh, but that way, um, she knows I'm using the same machine she is. And then we can just be doubly sure that we're um, getting the girl at the right time. So there goes my timer for one minute and I add 10 drops of this wash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I shake my mixed up formula a little bit and I do two drops of this on here. One, two. And then we watch this right up here and if it I set my timer for nine minutes and then oops I missed my nine here there we go so we'll watch this turn and as you can see probably by now that it is turning a very light blue so this is the first uh, time I am testing amber oh it's turning bluer as you can see um so then I always take my little butt back here and I look but I wait till the nine minutes to make my um, decision on where she's going but I can see that I'll probably be retesting in probably two days probably on Wednesday morning I'll be retesting her again because um, I think it'll probably be a light blue by the time it's done but 
we will see after the timer goes off after nine minutes we'll see what it says so after you get a, a white sample what do you do from there um, then I usually either we collect um, our mail and and we um, add a semen extender to the semen that we collect from the mail. We chill it and send it along with the female to the veterinarian and then she'll do a surgical on our female and she's good to go home. Very, very unique and fun. <laughs> so we have a I want to say we have a hundred percent right on that of my girls being pregnant since I do my own testing and then call her she comes out they pick up the female and retest again and then she does the surgical um, I cannot say enough great things about um, my veterinarian at Danville vet uh, she does a wonderful job and we are um, super happy to have her and I have great success with that so thanks for watching here and I hope that helped you to understand a little bit of what goes on behind the scene before the puppies are actually born here at Pine Creek Doodles and um, watch for more things like this more interesting little tidbits that we like to post on on our Instagram page here